the phenom, Tyler Smith, 23 years old, from Washington Courthouse, Ohio, and I've known him since he was about 10 years old when he was announcing races and doing a heck of a job doing it. Thank goodness you're not into the announcing anymore, and you're a successful driver. Guys like Ken and I still need to work a few more years, you know? Yeah, I kind of gave up the announcing career a little bit. <laughs> well, you got to call at the Delaware at Little Brown Jug during Jug Week. You called a race. You called a race at Lexington during the Grand Circuit. What were you, 9 or 10 years old then? Yeah, I was young. I know Roger um, made fun of me because I couldn't see over top of the announcer's booth. <laughs> well, it doesn't slow me down. I still can't see over top. I have to have a stool to stand on up there, too. But, Tyler, you have had so much success so young. You're 23 years old, been driving since you were uh, about 18 in the parimutuel races, and I think you've already got 2,600 drives. You keep this up through 55, you're going to be in about 100,000 races. That's a lot of seat time. Yeah, you know, I've been very fortunate. I'm, I got very fortunate when I started out, and, you know, I went to Cleveland and got fortunate. Um, you know, dad, my dad's where I'm at right now. Um, I wouldn't be where I'm at without him, that's for sure. And, you know, I just got the win in races, and it just rolled on. You know, I've had a lot of success. And you've been out to the Meadowlands before with a lot of success here. You had a five-win night. You got to drive in the Breeders' Crown, Meadowlands Pace, Eliminations. Racing at the Meadowlands is still special, something you've dreamed about all your life, and that's why you're back out here this winter, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, like the Meadowlands, it's a, it's always going to be the greatest place to race. Um, you know, dude, you got the Hamiltonian, Meadowlands Pace. Horses like, you know, the best trainers, best drivers are here, and, you know, to get an opportunity to be here, I'm grateful. And this winter... It's going to be strange as far as drivers. Tim Tietrick is training Colts in North Carolina. Dave Miller vacationing in Florida. Yannick Gingra racing at Dover, not planning on racing here. Scott Zeron moved to uh, Yonkers full time. It's wide open. A young guy like you who's aggressive and can make speed, you got a chance to win some races here and do some good. Yeah, and you know, you, you might catch in like um, one of the good Colts or one of the stake horses, you know, and that's what. That's what someone needs starting out, you know. It's, it leaves it wide open with them guys going, and hopefully hopefully things work out. Tyler, your first big-time horse on the national scene, let's drink on it. This is you winning with him here at the Meadowlands, and I think it was 48-3 and three a couple of years ago. This horse got in a lot of big races, Breeders' Crowns, uh, North America Cup, that sort of thing. He was a heck of a horse. Yeah, he was. You know, I got to thank Joe and Tina and the owners for giving me opportunity at such a young age to be able to drive him in a lot of big races. You know, that, that horse taught me a lot. He taught me how to drive in big races and, you know, drive with good, like, the, drive with them guys. And he taught me a lot. And, you know, I'm very thankful I got to drive him. You know, and I've, I always said all, all of his three old years, he was such a bad luck horse. Yeah, he, he was did, such a bad luck horse. He did have his share of bad luck, but I tell you what, he had some good luck on Little Brown Jug Day. And being from Ohio, being in the Little Brown Jugs, like the end-all, be-all, you won your elimination with him. Here is the Little Brown Jug final. That's you sitting in behind Limelight Beach. If you got some room, would you have been able to win this race? Um, you know, it's hindsight 50-50, but, I mean, I'm running. I mean, I was running over Yannick. I still have my earplugs in, running over him at the wire. Um you know, I'd, I'd like to give him a shot, that's for sure. That had to be the biggest thrill in your life, just to win the limb and be second in the final. Oh, yeah. You know, it was a little disappointing not winning the final, but it was. You know, being from Ohio and the jug is a race everybody wants to win, especially me, I know I do for sure. And, you know, to be second in it, but winning the elimination is unbelievable. Now, we talked about you announcing races when you were about 10 years old. When you were a kid, you were never shy, and you were never at a loss for words. And I understand you used to call up John Campbell about every week and just shoot the breeze with him. Are you guys still pretty good friends uh, 15 years later? Uh, John's a great guy. You know, he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, I, he's someone I look up to. I've always looked up to him. Um, you know, I remember I still got a set of his collars when he gave them to me when I was three or four years old at Delaware. He's just a, he's a great guy and a great guy for the sport. Now, has he given you any advice on coming out east to drive and racing here at the Meadowlands? No, no, um, nothing like that. You know, he just, you know, we, he says hi, I say hi, and, you know, very professional. He's very professional. Now, you race mainly at Hoosier Park. I guess that's that's your number one track. Very interesting driver colony there. Trace Tietrich's very good. A lot of guys can really handle themselves. But in Indiana, everybody has a driver's license and likes to drive their own horses. You might have 50 different drivers in one night. That's going to be a little hard to adjust to. Yeah, it's tough. You know, um, it was funny. One time, one night over there this year, there was like 60 drivers on the card. You know, just guys driving their own horses, and um, it, it makes it difficult. You, it, it's hard to play out races sometimes. And when you drive in Dayton, 
the driving colony there is so good. You got Dan Noble, you got Josh Sutton, you got Chris Page, Pete Wren is there. A lot of guys with a lot of ability. It's run and gun racing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, back there you got to. I mean, it's it's, it's go. Um, they like to, you know, it's it's but five eighths mile track with no passing lane. It's going to be like that, but you race them there. What is the hardest thing for you? coming out to the Meadowlands to drive on a regular basis. You don't know the horses. Uh, probably y y most of the horses you drive, it's the first time you've ever sat behind them. You don't know all the drivers that are here now. What's the toughest adjustment? Um, I've been out here before. I don't think it's a big, tough adjustment. The horses, you know, if, if some of the horses, I don't know, I'll watch replays on and see how they race. And, you know, I just, I, I'm more of like go by a feel. And I like driving a horse the first time. Sometimes it don't work out for me real well, but I like driving one the first time. What are your long-term plans for this winter? Are we going to see you here through the end of December? Are you thinking January and February? What are you thinking? As long as I can keep getting work, I'm going to keep coming out here. You know, Mark Ford, um, he's been putting me down on everything. And, you know, he's, he's, he does good. And hopefully, hopefully it lasts and I can stay out here. All right, how about long-term career goals? Do you want to be the next Dave Miller, the next Tim Tietrick? What do you got in mind for you 10, 15 years down the road? Oh, you know, I want to be there where you're winning Hamiltonians, the Jugs, Meadowlands Pace. I want to be driving Grand Circuit. Um, and hopefully I get the opportunity to do it, and hopefully I can keep winning races and stay healthy. Well, you certainly have shown the talent and the desire to do just that. And your career, who knows, the sky could be the limit. Let's talk about a couple horses you've got in tonight. A couple that you that you either drove or opted off a winner. First race, number nine, born to fight. You chose him over OU Sexy Guy. Was that because of the Mark Ford deal? Yeah, and you know, I, I liked um I, I liked the horse come from Yonkers. You know, he trotted about the same at Yonkers. It's a, the other horse went here. Um, I just and you know, Mark's I'm using a lot I'm driving a lot of marks, so I figured I'd stick with him. So Mark Ford's like you're Ronnie Burke right now here at the Metal. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's high praise for Mark Ford. Eighth race, number ten, Danson Hill. You were second with him, a close second last week, and I think he was like fifty to one or so. What about tonight? Yeah, he was high odds. You know, Mark actually told me last week if I, I should have been a little more aggressive with him, even though he was high odds and he'd have win. I got stuck in um, 10 holes a tough spot. I just got to hopefully find a cover flow that's live. You know, I think there's a lot of speed on the inside. Hopefully we can find a cover flow that's live and follow him up. Well, Tyler Smith, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for coming out and racing with us at the Meadowlands. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and your family, and keep up the great work. Yep, thanks for everybody from here. One of the rising young stars in our sport, 23-year-old driver Tyler Smith in the sulky. Quick timeout. We'll be back with more.